Hello everybody, this is Obni, and we are back here on the Ripple Effect server. I just logged on the server because I was told that I really, really needed to record when I, I would lo log on. And apparently there is fish everywhere. Uh, yeah, I kind of saw in Jimbo's last video that he left me a present, so I stopped watching at the very... Well, I skipped the part about the present, uh, but apparently it involved putting fish everywhere in my base. Also, this here is a... a it's a special place. It's uh, basically, it's uh, inside the maze. If you remember a few episodes ago, I built a big, big maze. Well, there is some under, uh, an underground part to the maze. So um, yeah, you now see what it looks like from the outside, which is not something you're supposed to see. Anyway, back to topic. I got a shulker box full of fish. Yay, <laughs> thanks Jimbo. Oh, there's another one. Oh, whoa, okay. That is not what I was expecting. Mending, mending, wow, wow. Holy crap. Holy cow. Wow, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jimbo. Woohoo. Hey, everyone, uh, go check out Jimbo. He's a super cool guy. Uh, and he gave me an awesome gift. So go from me in the, the, this video. I'm going to put a link somewhere on the on the screen right now. Go watch this video. You can even stop watching this current video right now. Just to go with, go and write him thank you for me. I would really appreciate it if you did. Now, where is the rest of my... St okay. I just... I really need to put a piece of stone back there. But wow! <laughs> awesome! Thanks. Thanks a lot, man. It's, it's really cool. Um, yeah, he, he gave me that gift because he... I think he felt a bit responsible for uh, the multiple, multiple deaths that I had while fi fighting a dragon with him. Um, so yeah, it, it's not your fault if you if I died, Jimbo. It, it's my own fault and no one else's. You, you didn't have to, but but holy cow, thanks, man. <laughs> uh, so let's start smelting some stuff just for fun. Uh, uh, uh. uh, so yeah, sorry, I kind of uh, got carried away with uh, this new important project that is getting 32 pieces of iron. Um, today, for today, we have uh, some cool, cool, cool little projects. I want to work on my hub again. Oh, I want to complete it or, well, get, get a bit further than what uh, I'm, I'm currently, where I'm currently at. Does it make sense? Anyway, um, at the end of the last episode, uh, I started talking about a, an idea that I had to make the place look a bit, uh, a bit different from the rest of the nether. Uh, basically, one of the issues is is that yeah, the the color palette of the whole thing is the color palette of the nether. <laughs> So it's kind of hard to see the terrain. Um, also, there's the the issue of the uh, well, there's the issue of the fire resist potion that's not on my hotbar, and also there's the issue of I forgot what it was. Yeah, the wheels. I did not solve the issue of the wheels, but I know that the bone blocks won't stay there. One of the suggestions that I well, that I gave myself, honestly, at that point. Uh, but yeah, one of the the, 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 the thing that wasn't really a suggestion then. Anyway, uh, yeah, was to add some orange, which I'm really not sure if it's gonna look any good because orange is also a very, very important part of the nether. Uh, but it might stick out a bit more from the... The, the 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 nether brick. Uh, so since I do not trust myself here, I'm 
gonna um, where am I gonna uh, I think yeah I'm just gonna replace it at the other end um, but yeah one of the ideas that I had was to make the wheels well first I need to make some bigger wheels on the locomotive uh, that's something that I noticed uh, when I looked at pictures of, of actual locomotive uh, they, they, they have wheels it's uh, kind of unexpected but yeah they, they do I know, I was shocked too. Um, so, if I place this here, and maybe I think at the end here. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna place, uh, or, yeah, no, I'm gonna make some big, big wheels on the locomotive to make it look more like a locomotive and less like a, um, I don't know what, what it looks like right now, but it. But it does look like a locomotive, but it it doesn't look right. That's that's the, the problem that I have. Um, I can't really go anywhere where I could get a good look at the the change that I just made. Oh yeah, I could go there. Also, there are a bunch of guests which I do not like at all. Um, if I go there, maybe I'll be able to take a look at the change. Uh, no, I don't really see it. I'm gonna change it. Uh, I'm gonna change it in a few places, and I'll bring you back to show you what it looks like. Okay, so there's like 14 guests on me, so we'll have to take a look at it from up here. But we can see it pretty well, and I really, really like that change it I go away yes good good guest go away uh, I got scared a little <laughs> sorry about that uh, but yeah yeah I'm really happy uh, with that little change it does look a lot better and we we see it yeah see it a lot more so yeah cool 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 I'm gonna make the other ones like that too I'm gonna make that change and then I'm gonna think of some way to change also uh, the the bottom. I said I would have some big big wheels, but yeah, I'm I'm still not sure because I kind of like the side. Maybe I could just add a little line of orange just like that on the side, one or two, something like that. That could be enough to make it pop. And I think that the fact that it's kind of a ghost train and it's not the real train makes it so it's all right if it doesn't really have any wheels at all. Maybe I could add some skis. That could be cool. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna make that change, and I'll, I'm gonna think of uh, other stuff to add to that thing. I'm not gonna bring you back right after I change that. It, it's not gonna be super useful. You already see it. Uh, so yeah, gonna, gonna gonna change that, and then we can move on to maybe another project. Probably still around here, but not on the train itself. And we are back, so I decided to uh, drop the idea of having wheels completely, entirely, from the trains. It's it's just gonna be like a flying train with uh, some sort of uh, magma powering levitation, magma powered levitation system, I guess, something like that. Also, there's a bunch of guests which really really annoy me right now, but uh, I gotta live with that, I guess. Uh, let's go. Back there, back over there to uh, the connecting station over here. Uh, also, you probably noticed I made a big, big, big platform to um, yeah help move underneath that. I should have made that in the first place. Would have probably saved me a death or two, but I did not. So, there we go. Um, also, uh, this thing here, I, I had left a big, big hole in, in here. And I, uh, it was kind of a bad idea, and someone filled it back in. So yeah, sorry uh, for not being smart like that and leaving that open. Uh, it wasn't the best idea because it's supposed to be kind of a safe way here. Uh, so as we said, as we as I said earlier, um, I want to build kind of a station around here, so it's going to be a place like where we can go down there, there's going to be a, a platform where we can board on that, um, how do you call that, that wagon there, that, that carriage there. 
Uh, so that's what I am going to work on for now. And I had an idea. I'm not sure if it's going to really work well. I hope it will. I think it will. I hope. I think. Yeah, probably. Um, might might not work though. But yeah, I, I want to work with uh, kind of a... a, a uh, a very 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 neutral palette around here so I'm gonna use mostly quartz where's my quartz quartz and well mo mostly most mostly uh, white glass uh, so that's kind of what I wanted to use it's gonna be kind of uh, really um, I don't know to say um, what that only grab one that was heavy miscalculation um, yeah it's it's gonna be kind of a very uh, clean look I, I, I don't know if it's the, the, the right the right way to say it um, but yeah that's kind of what I want it to look like so it's gonna be kind of a big box there's gonna be kind of arches for the trains the, the, the train to go in and out and uh, platform in a little balcony here and some place to go down so I'm gonna work on it honestly with my recording schedule right now for those of you who were following my single player world uh, you probably know that information but right now my recording schedule is pretty pretty bad so uh, I'm probably gonna build the whole thing and I'll bring you back when it's done and we are back and we are in town I'm just leaving the villager trading area thingy here because I made myself a new bow because I've been playing in the nether and I I didn't have a bow for some reason so I, I made a bow because the uh, guests are annoying and I have been told that I need to look in my mailbox here so and it's been a while since I've been been told that I need to look here so I think there's a few things a few very important things here Ooh, I got a trident with mending. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks. That is a pointy gift from Carlock and Magoo. Well, thank you, Carlock and Magoo. Uh, yeah, I've got a turtle egg from Marlow uh, with some very, very, very specific instructions. Apparently, taking care of turtles is super hard and difficult, so it's a uh, 13 pages. Dang it! Um, um, I, I I already heard people reading through the, the that book, so I'm just gonna go through the book, and you can pause the video if you want to take a look at what's at the instructions in there. I'm not gonna read read it all on camera, but here we go. <laughs> We go uh, so now you know how to raise a turtle and we had that and we had a bunch of stupid fish I don't want to talk about it uh, I I'm pretty sure that's from Billy probably so why is there no fish inside Billy's chest wait a second I, I, I just need to do a quick quick transfer of uh, fish uh, so I'm gonna keep the last stack in my mailbox and that fish has been there for long I got pretty got the stinkiest mailbox anyway uh, not the point here let's go back into the nether because I made a few little things that I want to show you and I'm gonna do some more changes because there uh, anyway we'll discuss that once we get there also I don't remember if I showed that area here uh, this whole room was built by sin except I think for the portal which was built by duds and probably bank uh, in, a, in a stream uh, so it looks amazing. It looks super cool. Let's go down to my tunnel over there. Cue silly music.
So, here we are. Ah, I hate that stupid noise. I'm gonna put all the stuff that I don't need to carry on me right now. Uh, well, basically all the precious stuff that I've just been given. Uh, I'm gonna keep that on me. That can go. Perfect. Uh, so. Ah, dang it. Go. Oh, ah, I hate you. Die, please. I hate you. How did that get sent over that way? Guests are weird. Did it break anything? Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, what this is going to be, there's going to be kind of a balcony, and then I want to have a staircase going down, although I think I built the whole thing a bit further down than I expected at first. Uh, anyway, that's not that, that big of a deal. Um, and yeah, there's gonna be for now. I'm gonna just put in a glass floor, and I'm gonna do the uh, the changes on it a bit later. I'm also gonna drink that potion because I really, really expect to fall in lava pretty soon. So let's go down and just take a look at things. Basically, uh, the entrance here to the the first wagon is here, and as you can see, we can already see the portal over there and that kind of annoys me so I am thinking I will move the locomotive one blo uh, one like I'm gonna tear down the locomotive and I'm gonna build another carriage right here another little wagon like that right here and then I'm gonna put the locomotive in front here so it's gonna be a bit underneath the the port, the not the portal, the the hall there, which is not something that I am sad about. I think it's a better idea. It, it's gonna look good because we're gonna see it from like through the floor, and I'm just gonna have to like make. Uh, I think I kind of measured it not really well, but something like up to here that I'm gonna have to build this. Uh, this room here, the, the room where we can get inside the first wagon, and so it's gonna be way, way easier to build, way less expensive, and way less of a big, huge, empty room here, uh, because it's it's gonna feel kind of empty that big room. So, and yeah, now that I look at it, if I compare it with the thing that I have in creative, where are you, stupid guest? Uh, yeah, th th that balcony is way further, it's way higher. Where are you? How did you do that? Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna fight guests on camera, it, it can only end in sadness if I do so. Uh, so I'm gonna work a bit more on all of that, and I'll bring you back when there's more stuff to show. There we go, I made the changes that I said I would make. Uh, so this place is pretty much all closed off. The only way in is uh, those arches here, the, the inside of those arches. Uh, that's To me it's not that big of a deal because guests are not going to be able to fly through those. I am pretty sure uh, plus I, th I think they move randomly they, they don't have like they, they won't move here to get two players if I remember correctly about the AI of guests also I moved the locomotive in front here so I had to tear it down and build it back up I don't know if I had made the change uh, here on the side with those orange blocks but it does look a bit better I think I like it more like that and it also fits with the rest uh, like the acacia, uh, acacia doors speaking of there's one missing here why anyway I'll fix that later um, yeah it feels though a bit empty uh, so I'm gonna have to rework a bit more on rework on anyway uh, I'm gonna have to rework like that that little balcony here a bit more maybe putting some pillars or something like that I'm not sure also I'm not crazy about the stair because it's just you know a bad stair just stair blocks 
here. Uh, so I'm also probably gonna have to make it look a bit better. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna try and come up with other ideas on how to make this area here look better. Uh, but that won't be for today, I think, because I, I really I just don't have any idea, and I don't have a lot of time to just think of ideas and then build them. I'm gonna keep that for now, and I'm gonna make it better. Basically, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, here I got. I started working on some kind of uh, little fancy designs for uh, the the the, um, the places here, the, the interior of the the carriage, carriages. Carriage? Is that even the right word that I'm saying here? I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go for uh, quartz stairs to make uh, the, the, the stuff inside. P only problem is I am really, really low on quartz now, so uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to go and gather some more quartz before I can do the inside here. I'm also gonna carpet the rest of the floor because uh, there's still some exposed spawnable blocks in here, um, if we take a look at this one here, like everything here is spawnable except for the little uh, seats here. Uh, so yeah, it's it's gonna require mm, carpet too, basically, because I don't want big men to spawn inside here. I want this place to be safe. Um, and also, I'm gonna have to rework uh, the outside here. Uh, maybe this here one day, maybe not today, maybe today too, I don't know. But like, instead of just having flat netherrack everywhere, I'm gonna transform it. And, um, sorry, uh, same thing, same thing with this uh, area here. It's it's pretty ugly, I, and I'm, I want to build basically another station uh, back here. Uh, probably gonna make a door here, maybe, I don't know. Um, so it's probably gonna be kind of the same shape as that one, or like the same, um, I don't know how to say it, uh, the, the, like the same arches that I'm gonna put here, and maybe one there on the back. Uh, but it's not gonna be using the same block, the same palette. Uh, I wanna use different, uh, so, uh, yeah, something different for that, so uh, I'm gonna start working on that. Uh, basically, I'm gonna use uh, for now because it would fit with the theme of what I want to have here. Uh, I'm gonna use a stone brick for now, uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do that right now, and I'm gonna bring you back when it's done. Here it is. I put stone brick all over the place here, and I also put some obsidian in the walls here because I, I would have put stone bricks there, but. Uh, if I remove that obsidian block, I would break this portal here. So yeah, we got obsidian as kind of an accent piece here, but otherwise it's all all brick, all gray. Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna come up with something eventually to make it a bit more colorful. Maybe obsidian, maybe like more like patterns of obsidian in, in the walls or something like that, because it is a very gray. As you can probably see, I don't know why I need to explain that. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, here is the carriage that we will get uh, get down from, get out from, here, uh, and portal that way, we climb this up, there's the portal like over there, and here is a, well, the, the lockers that way, it's not completely done, but that, that's how it's gonna look for now, so that's the, the visitors, they will be able to uh, drop all of their personal outside belongings in here, and uh, grab the, the things that they want to bring when they come over to the area through that portal. Um, I I put a sign saying that they, these are free. I just hope, correct me if I'm wrong, but will people think that that's just things that they can take and bring back home? I hope it, it's not. Basically, the, the sign is just to like show your name. Uh, like put your name here, show, show that you claim this uh, locker here. That's the the idea. I hope people won't grab those. That would be bad. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna put another sign here that says "end uh, end portal." Oh, portal lockers. Here it is. And here. We are going to put the official name for this area here. 
Um, basically, uh, you probably remember that I made uh, a contest uh, two episodes ago, I think, so uh, something like three weeks ago, uh, for people to come up with a name for the area, and we had a lot of awesome, awesome suggestions. Um, but none of it felt exactly like what I wanted, so bas basically I took the suggestions as inspiration. I hope no one gets mad at, at, at that. I hope, please. Uh, but yeah, uh, and one of them was a Magoo's suggested Toothville, which is a pretty cool, pretty cool name. And there was also Para's suggestion, which was uh, Clearwater Gloom, which uh, sounds a little bit... Uh, scary, I think. <laughs> I'm not even sure, but still, it sounds kind of, of soothing, like clear water. It's something cool. So I thought, resting tusk, resting tusk. That's the name of the town, but it's not really a town. It's more like a, a, a place. It's it's more of a rural community, uh, basically. So it's uh, I thought just to qualify it, we we could call it the farmland. Area of and let's add some spaces, yeah. Of resting tusks, uh, resting tusk or resting tusk? No, just resting tusk. So yeah, farmland area of resting tusk. I I, I really like the sound of that. I really do. do. Do you like it? Anyone else like it? I really really like it. I really yeah. I'm happy with that name. So that's what I'm gonna call this area for now. I don't need any more signs than that, I think. Uh, so yeah, now the other thing that I wanted to do <coughs> here is... Sorry, I'm, t I'm losing my voice a little. Um, yeah, I, I want to start decorating the inside of those little wagons, those little carriages, uh, just to make them a bit more welcoming. Uh, so I think I had some quartz left here here. Uh, wait, no. Dang it. Where's my quartz? Uh, it was in my hand all along, silly me. I'm sure glad I didn't have to run all the way back home to grab it in a chest or anything like that. That, that would have been embarrassing, right? Uh, so we could move those stupid pigmen away, please. Go somewhere else. Ah, got, <clears throat> got nowhere better to go, stupid things. Uh, now we could make two seats like so, facing each other with a little table here. That would be convenient. And then we could... Okay, sorry about that. Emergency cough. Uh, as I think I mentioned, I'm kind of getting over a little bit of a f uh, flu. Uh, it's pretty annoying, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting over it. Uh, next move. Go, go, wait. Stupid Wait, what? There was a door here. Wait, what? Wait, what? What's happening? Is, is it moving? No, 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 that can't be happening. Wait, what? How? 